This is where the bomb went off on Friday during the Eid religious festival. The Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant quickly claimed responsibility for the explosion. Mobs of angry young men in this predominantly Shia Muslim town have been out on the streets since the attack, protesting what happened. No one cares what happened here. Our government haven't even visited here. Even President Obama has sent condolences. No one cares. Their anger isn't likely to go away anytime soon. They blame the Sunni Muslims of this town for allowing ISIL fighters in. An allegation Sunni leaders denied to Al Jazeera, but refused to say on camera because they fear revenge attacks. The people here have lost all faith in the government to defend them. They say the only people that can protect them from attacks like these are the Hasht al Shabi or the Shia militias. They say they're the only ones that have the power to be able to take revenge, and that's what they want. Revenge against the people who perpetrated this attack. The local mayor is a man under pressure. As the representative of the government, anger is directed towards him. He's lying low and increased his own security, fearful of the mobs outside. We need more of everything to protect ourselves, more bomb detecting equipment, more cameras, more local police and soldiers who know the area and can protect us against ISIL. Members of several large Shia militia groups have visited the town. One of them, Asaib Ahl al-Haq, have warned they will get revenge for this attack. For ISIL, it's a big propaganda victory, which demonstrates that they can attack at will, and that has residents here scared and angry. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Khan Bani Saad, Diyala Province.